Yo, what is up you two? This is Captain Marvelous, the captain of this ship. Back with another episode of Brooklyn Nets, my GM. Like that man, Daniel, with them same white vans. Except that's an awful, awful meme viral video that's completely lame. I hope that you guys do not enjoy it, other than to laugh at it sarcastically. But anyway, to the point at hand, um, a lot has happened in the NBA since the last time I uh, uploaded or recorded a video. Uh, it's been like over a week. Uh, I've been wanting to a bunch of times, but unfortunately, it's been kind of a crappy week for me. Extremely crappy. Been a, you know just bad stuff all around. Bad moods. Uh, bad bad things going down. Bad situations. So I haven't been really able to upload. So I'm a little bit behind in what's going on. I apologize for that. But you guys wish me well, please, in the comments. I could really use it. Um, but catching up with what's going on in the NBA world, the trade deadline came and passed. Uh, a couple of trades went down. Nothing really spectacular, though. Um, the uh, OKC picked up Randy Foy, a nice bench player for them, I guess. You know, helped them out, kind of replace what Deion Waiters is doing because he was supposed to be, you know, better for them than he has been. Uh, Rockets did a trade with the Pistons that got rescinded, which is unusual. Well, got voided and then rescinded. You know, which is kind of unusual because the Monte Unit Monino is getting past his physical. So that was noteworthy. I suppose uh, that boy Marcus Storton, aka Mac Lobster, aka Mac 10, uh, for you Brooklyn Nets fans, the, the true Brooklyn Nets fans, you know what I mean by that, was on the team for a little bit uh, two years ago. Um, What else happened? Uh, I think I talked about. Uh, that boy Tobias Harris going to the Pistons already. He's been balling off him a little bit. The Wizards picked up Marquise Morris. So one of the moves that I projected to happen actually happened in real life. The Suns moved Marquise, Marquise Morris. I told you guys, I know what needs to happen out there in the NBA, man. And I'm making it happen in the video game world. Another thing that happened, uh, the Suns uh, also... Uh, no, not the Suns did anything. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, the Clippers traded Lance Stevenson to the Grizzlies, so they traded Lance Stevenson away, just as I predicted and did in this video, in this uh, series here. And anything else happened? Any other in trades that were kind of important? Not really. Mostly minor players moved around. Channing Fry, you know, moved to the the, the Cavaliers. Um, and this embarrassed y'all. I was on the Warriors now because he got cut by the Cavs. Nothing really spectacular with the trade down line in terms of trades. But it will be interesting to see how it uh, works out in the NBA season. But what's more interesting is what's going to happen with the Brooklyn Nets with their new GM, Sean Marks. Uh, like I said in the last video, I, I think that they might hire him. He was the front runner, and he ends up getting hired on the day of the trade deadline. He's already making moves for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, cut Andrea Bargnani. Unfortunately, he was not able to trade him like I was, but he cut him. He's off the team, and uh, that's something that I really uh, appreciate that he did. He's already making moves, making himself seem very competent. Um, so, you know, guys, he's kind of following in my footsteps, honestly. I mean, I did it first, right? So he's kind of following in my footsteps of uh, making the team better with some of the moves that he's doing. And uh, I'm really happy with what he's been doing. The Nets fans seem to like him. And I'm glad he got rid of Bargnani because he's dead weight and it opens up a roster spot for better players. Um, but now for, let's, let's be real serious for a moment. Let's get on a very serious note. Um, you know, our thoughts and, and, our thoughts and wishes go out to, to that man, Joe Johnson who has uh, been brought out from the Brooklyn Nets yesterday as I'm recording this on uh, Friday, uh, February 26th, I believe. You know, uh, Joe Johnson has been a Brooklyn Net from day one, and he has been the most reliable, uh, the most consistent, most professional player for the Brooklyn Nets throughout the tenure. And, uh, you know, he's, he has all those game winners for us. There's a great compilation of them that you can watch on, on uh, YouTube. Uh, the man... X phase capital X uh, dash P H A Z E. You can find the video, uh, the tribute video for Joe Johnson on YouTube uh, by searching that name. He's he put he put together a very heartfelt tribute video for Joe Johnson, and you know he will be missed. Uh, he was really I feel like the first player in the Brooklyn Nets era to really be you know something special for the team. Hopefully, Brook Lopez can be can be the next guy. At only 27 years of of age, he still has a lot left to take the Brooklyn Nets far in real life. So, shout out to Joe Johnson, big shout out. 
we wish good things for you, man. And just like how I traded him away in this series, uh, the Nets got rid of him as well, but like they weren't able to trade him like I was. They just got rid of him by by buying him out. So, you know, that's that's kind of a sad moment. Not really, you know, I was just you know paying respects to the man, but it's not really a sad moment. Anyway, let's get to the video now. Start talk for like three, four minutes already, but I had to catch everybody up on what's been going on in the NBA. So, we're gonna sim this game against the Nuggets. And let's fast him and see what happens. Are we going to be able to beat the Nuggets? And we are blowing out the Nuggets. We beat the Nuggets by 30. Let's go. Mike Conley, 26 points, 8 assists, only 2 turnovers. It's about to see a 4-1 to one assist to turnover ratio. Brooke Lopez was 23 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks. Darrell Arthur scored 20 points, 3 rebounds. Okay, he ain't looking to get traded. I'll tell you that much when you come out with 20 points. Uh, Terrence Jones had 9-9, nine nine, so that's what's up. Don John Rudez. I don't know how to pronounce his name still, but I'm going to call him Don John. Uh, nine points. Okay, so good game, guys. Good game. So we really, we really just destroyed the Nuggets there. I got to take a drink. Ah, excuse me, I got to take a drink after that. Um, I'm going to have the coach handle adjusting the roster. And let's just send straight through this. Let's just simulate through that date. All right, let me see what we gain offer here. The Timberwolves want to trade us Zach Levine. Let's negotiate this trade. Let's see what's going on here. They want to get, they want to give us Zach Levine for this very high draft pick. I thought I, I swear to God, I put this man on the on the um, untouchables list. This is exactly why I put him on that. Uh, I was gonna put him on that list. I thought I did already, but I did not. So my bad. But this is not really a realistic trade anyway. Um, I don't, Zach Levine's a great player, you know, I really would like to have him on the team, uh, you know, because he has, yeah, we could control him for the next four, three years at least, and, you know, he's pretty solid, very athletic, this should be an A, his athleticism should definitely be an A, he, you know, he could do a little bit of everything, but not for a first round pick, so, I mean, for a pick that could potentially be the first overall pick, so, not gonna do that, well, let's see what they have to say. The team seems to be hitting on all cylinders. That's two big wins in a row. You must be proud. And I'm going to be humble. And I'm going to say that it was bad competition. Or should I say I'm very proud? Of? Yeah, I should say I'm very proud, right? I usually try to be humble. I think that's what the press wants to hear. It makes everybody kind of happy. Uh, so I'm going to say that, actually. Oh, the players' morale went down. But it made the, the press like us more. Which, you know, that kind of, that helps, too, you know? Are you serious, bro? Are, are you guys really? What do you? Yeah, just die, Celtics. Just die for offering that. Just burn up in a fire. Let me see something quick though. Um, I I could have swore I had people in here. <sighs> okay, and uh, I feel like it just erased it. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I feel like they erases this from me from me because I I'm pretty sure that I had players in there already. And I'm not going to put Chris McCullough there right now. And Mike Conley wants to talk. And let's definitely do that because we want Mike Conley to be happy. And as he played a really good game against the Grizzlies, he wants to tell us that he's happy about that. He, I wanted to let you know that the game against the Grizzlies really made me feel good about being here now. I'm thrilled to be a member of the team. Yes, that's what we like to hear because we want you to be happy so we can resign you. I feel like you're a great fit here too. The entire Brooklyn Nets organization is really happy to have you on board. And we love you like your family. Go up to 100%. Ah, his morale only went up to 78. Okay, well, you know, that's still much better than it was. And let's see if he's willing to uh, accept his contract yet. Ah, he's still undecided. Ah. Why are you doing this to us, Mike Conley? All right, so let's check out the Rising Stars Challenge, uh, which is the next thing that's coming up. And... Yeah, right here. Okay, Rising Stars Challenge. <clears throat> um, okay, so nobody from my team so far on this side. Oh man, are you serious? That boy, uh, that boy Ronde did not make it into the contest. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Alright, let's check out the All-Stars. 
and no All Stars, even though Kyle Lowry, Demar Derozan, LeBron James, come on, Anthony Paul George, um, you know this right here. These these five names in a row are what really should have uh, should have been the Eastern All Star line starting lineup, except uh, Dwayne Wade was there instead of Demar Derozan. But that's funny how it shaped out like that. Um, let's see how how close it was to real life. Okay, Kemba Walker, he could have been one, but uh, you know he wasn't. But that could have really gone either way. Nick Batum, heck no. Greg Monroe, heck no. Andre Drummond, yes. Chris Bosh, yes. Al Horford, yes. Jimmy Butler, yes. So kind of close, but not really that much. And Damian Lillard gets to expect in video games that he does not get in real life because he's an all-star here. But for some crazy reason, he was not one in real life. And shout out to Damian Lillard, he's been balling out of control lately. Um, even though you made, uh, you, you guys took down the Nets the other day, you know, you handed us that L. I don't really appreciate that. I do appreciate how you've been on fire and uh, that you're getting your respect that you should have gotten already. So that's what's up. So... And we're going to just send through the Rising Stars Challenge because Rondé is not in it. And we're going to simulate it with SimCast. Okay. Seems like it's going to be a pretty tough contested match so far. It bothers me that when you play it in real life, that when, I mean, that when you play it in the game, like you jump in and actually play the game yourself, they play a lockdown defense. Because it's so different than, and it looks like, oh, this, the elite's going to get blown out a little bit. A little bit. Let's, let's see how this goes. Devin Booker, 19 points. Shout out to that boy, Devin Booker, the only good part of the Suns. Thank you for losing to the Nets last night, giving us our 16th win. That was what's up. 19 points, uh, shot 50% from the field, and uh, slightly under 50% from three. It took a lot of them, though. 12. Jesus Christ. Joffrey Laverne, Andrew Wiggins. Uh, you know, scoring was kind of uh, very, very well distributed. You know, not, no one person really exploded for a lot. And let's see the winning team. A little bit more concentrated at the top. You got five guys in double figures. Towns is injured, but had 19 rebounds. Shout out to him. M Embiid is playing, you know, in the game where he's not playing in real life. Zach Levine did not play anywhere near how he played in the in the game in real life. But okay. But yeah, man, I wish that there was like, you know, the computer would make it so that it's more realistic to what is in real life where there's not a lot of, um, where there's not a lot of defense being played. So I'm at an episode here. I know that I just talked for a long time, but I, you know, I had to catch everything up. I was going to NBA. You know, I want to give my opinion. I want to hear you guys' opinions. Leave a comment in the comment section below how you feel about the trade deadline, the trades that went down, about the Nets hiring Sean Marks, how you feel about the Nets' future, them um, cutting and releasing Andre Bargnani, them releasing Joe Johnson, you know, how you feel about Joe Johnson's entire tenure as a net, um, and also, um, you know, how you guys felt about the uh, the All-Star game, too. I mean, because I'm sending it right now. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, the next episode will be up soon as well. The next episode will be up quickly, so there will be much more gameplay coming up uh, real soon and more content to look at. So leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back with more Book of Nets my GM. Peace.